Morning, Kyle. Come on then, have a good look, why don't you? Are you okay? What's happened to your face? Nothing. I'm fine. Honest. Look, let me see. Are you hurt? I had an accident. I slipped on the kitchen floor. Kyle spilled his juice. I really do have to report anything that I think might put Kyle in danger. You must understand this. It's not in any danger, I told you. Besides, if those busybodies poke their noses into my business any more, they might as well move in. Social services? Yeah, that lot. I mean, what is up with you all? Kyle just doesn't talk. He's shy, that's all. It's not just that, Mrs Roberts. As you know, Kyle's work is getting quite far behind now. He's very distracted whilst at school. Yeah, well, we can't all be rocket scientists, can we? Not all born with a silver spoon in our gobs. I know, besides, it's your job to educate the kids. What are you dragging me in here for? We need to work together to help support Kyle's education. I, I can't get him to talk. All the doctors in the world can't. I mean, what do you want me to do? I know, it must be very frustrating for you. You don't know anything. You don't know what it's like to be us. Oh, are we done here? I've got things to do. Yes, of course. But please, just remember, there are people willing to help you if you'll just let them. I've got people trying to help me, coming out me arse. Right, are we done? You look so big in that helmet. I'm just like your dad. A brave man, a brave soldier. I had a photo of him in his uniform. Oh, he looks so much like him. I wish I could show it to you. It's John. He didn't want me to keep anything of your dad's and he threw it all away. But you should know that your dad loved us very much. You. He adored you. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Joe.